Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Successors Power of Next Gen Technologies. Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about Automation Anywhere Architecture. Let's go into the class. The Automation Anywhere will follow the Client Server Architecture. It has the three components. The first one is control room, the second one is bot creator and the third one is bot runner. So let's go to next page. So if you are seeing the architecture diagram of the automation anyway. The blue color one is the control room. So it acts as a server. And if you see the right side you are seeing the bot creators and if you Sorry, if you see the left side, you are seeing the bot creator and if you see the right side, you are seeing the bot runners. So these are integrated with the control room. So these bot creators and bot runners can be maintained from control room. So let's go into the next thing. So the what is bot runner? Bot runner can be called as runtime client so by using this bot runners you are able to execute the task only you are able to execute the task but you are not able to create the task by using these bot runners so with the bot runners you can able to execute on your deserved VDIs Next. bot creator so by using these bot creators, you can create, edit and execute the bots as part of the development. So that means if you want to develop any robot, that means if you want to create any task, you can create by using the bot creator application. The bot creator application can be called as development client tool. And next one control room here the control room acts as server all bot creators and bot runners are authorized controlled and managed from the control room that means if any bot creator or bot runner have to work that should be authorized from the so that should be linked with the control room otherwise it can't able to create and it can't able to run the bots on its own so that's how control room will authorize those bot creators and bot runners and controlled so the um, the control room can control the bot runners and bot creators that means what type of bots it should create and what type of bots it should run like this whether you have to provide the meta bots to the clients or not whether we have to give the secure recording whether we have to give the secure credentials these kind of things can be controlled by the control room only and managed and we, when you comes into the managed so if you create any task in a bot creator but you want to run that one on top of some other bot runner if you want to perform that thing the control room will access intermediate server so it will manage how it will manage means it will collect the task from the bot creator keep it itself and it will run on top of the bot runner that's how control room will works here in the upcoming class we can discuss about components of the control room so what are all the components are available in the control room what are the jobs of those components okay guys thanks for watching this video please do subscribe and share if you like this video please click on like thank you Thanks for watching our videos please subscribe and click on bell icon to get regular notifications.